Japan is a world leader in industrial robots. On show at this exhibition in Tokyo, the kind of precision robotics at work on production lines globally. And for those companies still wanting to use people, it even provides the add-ons to make the workers more robotic. But it's where robots are interacting directly with humans that offers the most excitement right now. Especially in the smart delivery functions eagerly sought by the service and logistics sectors encouraging their development. Thanks to the speed of development of many types of technology, we've been able to bring them together in this machine in just a year and a half. With their high-tech manufacturing, super-fast internet speeds and a desire to be first, it seems East Asian countries are pioneering the introduction of robots in everyday life. Baby steps that are sometimes faltering and that still require a guiding human hand. Nonetheless, Japan feels it's time for robots to take their place in the workforce on public streets, allowing them to be used for deliveries in some local neighborhoods from this spring. For Japan, the use of robots for even the simplest task cannot come soon enough. The country's falling birth rate has led to a recent government warning that society is on the cusp of whether or not it will continue to fully function. In the air, logistics businesses are developing the drones that one day will be delivering packages to our doors. Japan has just lifted some of the restrictions on certain drone operations over urban areas. Once you know, we uh, make a lot of use cases, we believe there will be more open the market and there will allow more areas to fly. So we see more potential from that. Drone development and production here, as elsewhere, has been spurred on by the war in Ukraine. And expos, like this one in Seoul, have been showcasing the military applications for the robot. At this expo in Japan, it's a falling birth rate that is the most pressing battle. And in the robot, it finds an ally. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.